Sometimes it almost feels like space games are becoming all the rage, and with so many space titles being released, it's not hard to see why that is. Fortunately, it's still far from a crowded genre, and even better, most titles offer something unique. Infinity Battlescape then is here with a full 1 to 1 scale star system. Yes, that means full sized planets with seamless atmospheric re entry and landings. Developers iNova have announced that the title is just going into its final beta backer weekend right now and will then be going to early access on Steam in the later half of September. Many of you who are familiar with the genre will no doubt have heard of Infinity Battlescape at some point. It's been quite a while in development. It turned up very early on as a seriously impressive tech demo and eventually it went into crowdfunding in 2015. The game has had steady, regular ongoing updates during that time and whilst it's still very much a work in progress, it's moving towards being a game that it aims to be. What precisely is that then? Well, think of a massive scaled space combat game with dozens and potentially hundreds of ships involved. The battles take place throughout the star system, whether that's deep in space, around space stations, moons, planets, low orbit or even over the surfaces of planets themselves. The combat is objective based with teams involved in ongoing battles with shifting agendas. As players attempt to maintain control of infrastructure such as factories, space stations and bases. Owning this infrastructure is critical for players' factions as it's a way of generating credits and credits are created via NPC transport ships moving resources between the various structures. Inova's aim is to have these battles on the largest scale possible and they feel that they will be able to handle 200 to 300 players per server and that as their technology is scalable this should be able to reach 500 with a theoretical 1000 players. The game is also non instanced which for a multiplayer space game is a pretty big deal and as you can see on the screen this will all result in some pretty spectacular looking battles. This footage was taken from the previous beta backer weekend and shows a live combat. The footage was recorded by uh, Play Benny Tars and is used here with their very generous Creative Commons license. You can see the link below in the video description to their uh, YouTube channel where you can watch this video in full. Now at this point I think it's only fair to point out that generally speaking the game is still in a fairly raw state. It is still beta and will shortly be in early access so if you're interested in taking a look at this don't go in expecting it to be a fully formed game. It's not there quite yet and likely won't be for a while. However, the developers are extremely dedicated and over the past years have released a lot of updates which constantly improve the game both in terms of its stability, gameplay and visuals. Combat aside, players will be able to upgrade their ships with earned credits that were generated from ownership of the infrastructure I mentioned earlier. The game also features a number of different ships as well as the different ship classes and these include the Interceptor, Bomber, Corvette, Destroyer, Cruiser and Carrier, these last three being capital ships. Infinity Battlescape then is very much focused on being a pure multiplayer space combat game. Its entire setup is aimed at achieving this goal and the real beauty of this is that it is set against the backdrop of a massive open world. Whilst technically it doesn't have the simulation levels of armour, it is in some ways a similar approach. The gameplay is something that I will be looking much closer at over the coming months as the game picks up its stride into early access. Whilst as I mentioned the game is still in a raw state, I do have faith in what the developers have shown so far. They appear to be a very committed bunch and barring any crazy world ending circumstances, I don't see why they won't deliver on a full release. That said, it's also a little unclear just how long that will take, but they do have a beauty on their hands here and it has a lot of potential. For me, the game world itself is very breathtaking and I know a lot of people are waiting for the opportunity to fly over full scale atmospheric worlds. Aside from Space Engine, which isn't actually a full game, there's currently no other title that offers full sized atmospheric planets in a space game. So for the moment at least, I know they have something very unique to offer here. I suspect this will result in a whole bunch of players skipping out of combat and simply going on the sightseeing tours. I know that's something that I will certainly be doing myself and with a range of surface types including green earth likes, desert and volcanic, there's quite a bit of sightseeing to actually be doing.
If you want to find out more about the game, do check out the links in the video description. Alternatively, keep an eye out for my future videos on the game. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.